let's do a little more educating for the, the students and the folks that want to actually maybe take this on as a career. Mm -hmm. Give them some advice. Uh, for national painting competitions are a terrific way to um, see how your work stacks up to what's happening on a national level. The, there are many, many opportunities for entering your artwork um, in, uh, you know, landscape painting competitions, figure painting competitions, and so forth. I'd like to point out that you don't necessarily have to create something complicated. You don't have to strive for your life's masterpiece in order to feel like you're ready to, you know, submit your work to these national level competitions. And I stress the national level competitions because you really want to know, I mean, we're not in a huge city and the art community is small. You know, the number of representational artists is even smaller. So you definitely want to see your work, uh, you want to see what's happening beyond the borders of Richmond. Uh, I did, as practice, a self-portrait back in about 2008. I actually used this mirror that I had propped over uh, out in the studio. I, I hung a red drape uh, and a blue drape behind me. Um, I used a uh, incandescent light on one side, and then I just let the natural light that's here in the room kind of uh, work the other side. And I spent about six hours, five or six hours, and I was looking in this mirror and I uh, had my easel and just, you know, would look over and kind of get sort of the, you know, the, the gesture of how I was holding my hand. And I came up with a, a painting I was pretty happy with. I decided that I would enter it into uh, a competition, and the competition was the uh, Portrait Society of America. Um, it placed in one of their competitions, which was great. I also, it was at the same time, in the running for the American Artist Magazine. They have a cover competition, and I was informed that I was the winner. So my little practice study that I just did because I hadn't done a self-portrait in a long time ended up on the cover of a national magazine. And it's really helped put my name out there. And since then, I've had coverage uh, a couple of times in national publications. You know, for the cost of an entry fee, I have um, gained credibility, so to speak. You know, it's it's such an honor because it's magazines like this that I feel like I really learned a lot from. And so to see myself, see my work inside of, and on the cover of one of these magazines is, is a real honor. So I can't stress enough for folks to uh, pay attention to, like we were talking about, not only paying attention to the to the people that you're going to study with, but also see what's happening outside of your immediate circle of artist friends. Well, thank you again for sharing yeah. your knowledge. Yeah, my pleasure.